Hello friends, my name is Nilesh and today we will discuss a new UGC regulations which will apply from 2021 for teaching profession. As many discussions, many confusions are going among the students regarding PhD, NAT qualification, research paper, publication, your promotion process, top 500 uh, world ranked universities, PhD holders. So we will discuss all this in detail today in this video. So if you are new on this channel, so please subscribe this channel and press on the bell icon to get latest results such updates so friends we'll discuss UGC regulation 2009 and UGC regulations 2021 with respect to the post of assistant professor and your promotions prior to that I would like to tell you the central universities like IITs, NITs, IIMs, IIITs will be exempted from these regulations the most important part as you all are aware that you should be either NIT qualified candidate or PhD holder to apply for the position of assistant professor according to UGC regulation 2009 however uh, in 2009 2021 basically you should be having PhD degree then only you will be able to apply for the position of assistant professor so uh, many students basically considering this is a very bad news for the candidates those are preparing for the NIT examinations or those are already qualified NIT examination but it is not like that the NIT exam from 2021 will act as a PhD entrance test that means you should qualify the NIT exam and then only you will get PhD admissions so if you are preparing for the NIT examinations or if you are already qualified NIT examinations it will add an advantage I know the criteria has made slightly tougher but the student those will start preparing the NET examinations from now will require one or two years more to get it into the syllabus of NET exam and to qualify the NET exam so this will be an advantage to you if you are preparing for the NET examinations and the second most important part if your degree is from top 500 world ranked universities then definitely you will be directly placed for the post of assistant professor or you will get some exemption in the selection process for this position the next important part is related to your promotions here also you will find the major changes have been made your academic performance indexed some somewhere it can be called as PBAS performance based appraisal system so it is it will be completely replaced with a new and simplified teachers evaluation evaluations grading system so here also you will find many changes so I would like to mention two major changes so first is research paper publications if you look at uh, the UGC regulation 2009 then you will find that the research paper publications is having a high impact on your promotion process uh, promotion process for example if I am having two to three uh, research paper publications in some reprieve scopus indexed or uh, few SCI index journals and I'm having certain years of experience then I may get promoted to the next position or for example from assistant professor grade 1 to assistant professor grade 2 but now from 2021 research paper publications will not be considered for your promotion process so the clear statement is made in this regulation that the research paper publications in academic journals will not be required for your promotion however you can continue your research means you can publish your research articles and we, uh, definitely it will strengthen your bio data but this will no more help in your promotion process the next is online courses so online courses are having basically a slight impact on your promotion process according to UGC regulation 2009 but if you look at the UGC regulation 2021 you will find that the online courses are having a very high impact on your promotion process so you should go for this online courses maybe for NPTEL uh, registration courses or few online registration courses for faculty development programs etc so definitely you should take this as positively so this is having a similar impact that research paper publications is having in 2009 so friends this is the information that i received from the announcements our hrd minister has made few days before so if you are having any information regarding this or certain suggestions then you are welcome you can write me in the comments and this can help to the readers also and as soon as i'll get the updates in to this information so i'll try to convey it to you through this my video series so thank you very much for watching this video Thank you.